Hi guys, this is Cindy with EZC Productions. And as promised, I am out here at uh, the Rattlesnake Ridge with your daily update. And today is January 20th, 2018. So I wanna, today's topics, I'm gonna talk about the weather. And I'm gonna talk about some information that was um, discussed during yesterday's press conference, okay? So first of all, the weather, we have a beautiful day today. This is beautiful according to Washington State. Okay, we have clear skies, the sun is out. It is cold, um, but so for this coming week, we're looking at three to four days of rain and wintry mix, so. Okay, so that's the weather. And then the subjects and questions and answers that were brought up during yesterday's press conference were really good. Um, we had reporters asking really important questions, so I'm just gonna share that with you, all right? Okay, so the first topic would be about asking, uh, they asked about the, the data on the third party geologist that was hired. And Department of Transportation is saying that we have two weeks, we have to wait two weeks till we get that data. Okay, um, and then let's see, the Yakima Valley Emergency Management Team is also talking to residents and the public, reminding them to look up your property area. Where do you live? If you live in Yakima and Union Gap, he wants you to look up if you are located at the current 100 year floodplain, okay? He wants everybody to be prepared and to prepare a kit just in case, okay? And again, this is just in case. They're saying um, they want people to be ready and uh, they're also stating that a blockage of the river is unlikely, all right? Okay, so let's see what else. They also talked about letting residents know to be familiar um, as to where the shelters are and to keep updated with news and radio stations, which is really important. All right, okay, and then they also talked about the current um, evacuated residents and what the plan is for them. Okay, so currently Columbia Asphalt is renting them a hotel for five weeks and we're currently on two weeks um, the emergency management team is asking res those residents to uh, reach out to Yakima housing and to Northwest Community Action Center for future rental assistance and they provide housing and assistance with energy bills okay um, but again Columbia Asphalt is still discussing rental rentals for these people Okay, so I want to remind people that are passing through Yakima and Union Gap, please remember if you're using 97, this is a 55 mile per hour county road. Um, so it's important that you try to keep that speed limit. We have a lot more traffic going through there. So I'm asking people to just be courteous and careful. We do have people who pull over and want to record what's going on. So. I think that's it for now. Um, this is January 20th, 2018. This is Cindy with EZC Productions. Thank you, thank you for being with us. And uh, please remember to subscribe if you're not. And then also share, and we welcome comments, questions. Thank you very much, and this is Cindy. I also wanted to add one last thing that I forgot to mention. Um, it's an ongoing question we're all asking, why is Interstate 82 still open? According to, to Department of Transportation, they don't see significant change right now to close the freeway. So as soon as they see significant change, they will consider and take, take precautions for that. So thank you very much again. This is Cindy with EZC Productions.